you know, I'm a real pessimist about the fate of the planet, and that's basically why I'm, I continue to be in business. I have no desire to make more money for myself. My wife and I give 50% of our salaries away every year anyway. I drive old beater cars. I, I have a very simple life. But I'm a real pessimist about the plan, uh, future of the planet and the natural world. And I have every reason to be. There's no good news out there. And we're not going to save the world. Patagonia is not going to save the world by itself. And so I'm trying to use the company to influence other companies and to prove that green business is good business. We're working with companies like Walmart, you know. I always thought the revolution was going to start from the bottom, but um, Walmart is probably the company that's doing more than practically anybody to green themselves. And they're realizing that if they don't, they'll be out of business because the lifespan of retailers is about one generation. I mean, look at Sears Roebuck and Montgomery Wards, they're gone because they haven't changed. And so Walmart understands that the next, the next group of consumers, uh, the young kids, 13, 15, they're a lot different than, than, you, than we are. They're, they don't watch television. They, they don't listen to advertising. They communicate among themselves. They've had environmental education, and they know all the problems of destroying the planet, not like their parents who believe that, you know, saving the planet is 19th on their priorities. These kids want to do something about it, and they're the future consumers. Walmart understands that, and so they're, and we're, we're advising them. We're, uh, you know, the, the Walton family, when they gave a directive to green Walmart, all these executives had no idea what to do. They sent a bunch of them out to visit us to see what we're doing. And since then, we've been working with them and trying to clean up. I mean, you know, I'm talking about the 11th largest economy in the world. There's only 10 countries larger than Walmart. One of the things I did uh, when we got in that financial trouble is I decided to put the business on a 100-year plan. That, Make every decision as if we're going to be here 100 years from now. And um, that, you know, I, I figured, well, we're asking the, the farmer to leave the farm in better shape than when he received it from his parents. We're asking the forester to leave the forest in good shape after he's taken out some wood. But somehow, you know, government is exempt from that. Business is exempt from that. You can just grow the business as fast as you can, and then, you know, uh, get to the point of instability and unsustainability, and then you bankrupt it and, and uh, you know, fire all these people and lay them off. And, well, I think business should have that same responsibility as a farmer. So, you know, we put ourselves on a slow growth um, and with a goal to being out of debt. Well. We are. We're debt free. We're uh, we, we are on a, a natural growth track, which means when the customer gets his catalog and has ordered ten products and only gets three because we're sold out, it means we're not making enough. We're not advertising. We only spend one half of one percent on advertising. We don't advertise on inner city buses to get the uh, gang kids to wear our black down jackets instead of North Face. <laughs> so we're not going into third world countries and trying to get them to consume. It's just a natural growth. And this year, we have to grow 25%. Um, and it looks like it's going to continue. It's Things are exploding. So. Uh, the last thing is uh, I'm going to talk about is one, one thing that's pretty exciting, what we're going to do. We're going to have a contract with our customers <clears throat> where we're going to, when you go into a Patagonia store, you'll probably be confronted with a sales clerk that 
it's going to say, do you really need to buy this or not? <laughs> do you really need another jacket? Or maybe you could use a, a simpler one? Or No, really, we're going to ask our customers to think twice before they consume. Because, <clears throat> you know, the problem with the world is... is The problem is there's too many people consuming too much, consuming and discarding endlessly. The whole economy is based on consuming. We're not citizens anymore, we're consumers. And if you look in Webster's, the word consumer means one who, who uses up, who destroys. That's us. We're the problem. It's not the corporations, it's not those Mexicans that are having too many kids. It's not, we're the ones. We're using up the resources of seven planets. We're the ones that have to change. And so we're gonna ask our customers to think twice before they need that jacket. And if they do realize that they need it and don't just want it, um, we'll happily sell it to them. And thank you for your business and thanks for buying our jacket instead of a Columbia or whatever. <laughs> and when it, if it breaks down, you know, we don't make zippers, so zippers are always breaking down. And if something breaks down, we'll fix it. And then when you're finally, we already do this stuff, but when you're finally sick of it, you bought a purple jacket and you're sick of purple now, or your kids have outgrown the kids' clothes, we'll find another owner for it. We're doing a, a partnership with eBay, where you'll be able to put it on eBay and sell that jacket, and you can pocket the money, or you can give it to five different organizations that we'll recommend, and that will change periodically. When the product is finally dead, I mean really dead, <laughs> give it back to us. Drop it off at one of our stores. Give it back to us, and if it's polyester, nylon six, We'll melt it down into the original polymer and make more fiber. If it's cotton, wool, hemp, we'll recycle it into more clothing. So in other words, we're going to close the loop. And uh, we're going to accept responsibility. <laughs> oh, thanks. We're going to accept responsibility for our product from birth till birth. <laughs> 